I guarantee my work. Do you? When I was in manufacturing, we guaranteed our product. Do you? What does it mean to guarantee your work? Well, in terms of professional services, it's clear we cannot guarantee the results. I mean, if you're in litigation, uh, there's no way you know what the judge or the jury is going to decide. So you're not going to guarantee that the result will be X, Y, or Z. However, it is clear that you can guarantee that your effort will be such that the client will respect it and appreciate it and value it. So what we're talking about when we talk about guarantees in this context is guaranteeing that the, that the client will be satisfied in working with you. That's what we're really talking about. In other words, we can guarantee our effort. We can guarantee the client's satisfaction, not with the results, but with the relationship. Now, how do we do that? Simple. Communication. What is it that you need to do in order to communicate the nature of the objective that the client seeks, the, um, the steps along the way that will get us from where we are today to where the client wants to be, um, talking about, for example, how the client should behave in a deposition or in a trial environment, what they might expect to see, uh, what are the parameters, you know, the, the best result that could attain, the worst result that could attain, and so forth. A constant barrage, if you will, of communication. One of the things that fosters that communication is monthly status reports, something I've advocated ever since a friend of mine uh, in Michigan taught me about what he does in terms of sending information to his clients. I have adopted that, and promoted that over the last few years. I think it's a great, great tool to use. In addition to the status report concept of communication, another even more basic approach is to say to the client, how am I doing? You meet the client, you're talking with the client, you're interacting with the client on a frequent basis, whether it be in your office, in the courtroom, or on the phone. You can ask them, how are we doing? Is the firm treating you well? Is there anything that we're doing or not doing that you'd like to see enhanced, modified, or changed in any way? These are simple questions, a simple interaction between you and your client that will make the client aware that you're concerned, that you're interested, and that you really want their feedback as to how your firm, your office, your staff is treating this particular client. A third way of enhancing your communication is to create a budget. A budget of time, a budget of resources needed, a budget of money. Do that, create that budget with the client's involvement. Number one, it is a great communication uh, tool that involves the client, and once the client is involved, the client feels better, they feel part of the team, and they know that they're in good hands. But secondly, and perhaps equally if not more important from your perspective, is that it's very hard to criticize oneself. And if they're involved in the process and things don't go quite the way that they had anticipated, or for that matter that you had anticipated, that fact will not detract or, or, or denigrate their willingness to pay you what your fee is and should be. It's a way of increasing your realization rate to make sure that you get paid that which you bill. And once you involve the client, as I say, it's hard for us to criticize ourselves. And so when the bill comes, the client is more likely to pay than not. There is, for example, in Chicago, a law firm that originally made tremendous news in Wall Street Journal, uh, Business Week, and, and other uh, major publications by 
actually having an ad campaign that said, in effect, call your lawyer first. Leave a message, ask them to call you back. Then call us. See who responds first. If we don't respond within two hours and we're not first before your own lawyer, we will contribute $100 to your favorite charity and take you to lunch. Now that's putting their money where their mouth is. That is saying we believe that we will service you better than anybody else you could possibly engage. That's the kind of guarantee we're talking about. Guaranteeing of service, guaranteeing of satisfaction with the service, and guaranteeing that we will give our full effort to the maximum of our competence to address your issues and your challenges. Do you guarantee your work? Perhaps you ought to think about that if you don't. Because I assure you, especially if you're like me, that when you go in to buy a product or engage another professional service person, if you're not satisfied, you're really upset. And you expect them to stand behind their product. You expect them to stand behind their service. And it's interesting because in sales circles, there's an adage that goes something like, if I'm satisfied with the service, I'll tell one other person. If I'm dissatisfied with the service, I'm going to tell 23 other people. Build your brand. Build your credibility. Build your effectiveness with your clientele. Guarantee your work. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.